hour before anybody got into the building and, you know, leave it like that. Wow. At what point did movies start to play a role in your life? So, so I'm, I'm, I'm making records right all the way through to really 2001, you know, 2001 and a half. I'm, I'm still signed to MCA, which then was Universal Music Publishing. And, um, you know, got stuff under my belt now, you know, you know, like, like, you know, real records and production deals and things like that. And, you know, again, still nothing really consistent and still like a lot of peaks and valleys. You know what I mean? Like, you know, a big check this month and then five months of nothing. And then, you know, a smaller check. So, you know, nothing really stable and consistent. Um, my dad was, you know, very sick during this time. I was taking care of him, uh, paying for his care and all that stuff. Um, in 2001, I got two cuts on O-Town, sophomore record. And they were signed to Jay. And the two records that I had, I really thought were hits on their record. Um, I also, it was their sophomore record. And I thought that, you know, this was it. You know, their first album had sold, you know, went platinum, multi-platinum. And the second one, you know, everyone was like, oh my God, you know, Clive is putting everything behind this record. This is going to be huge. And I'm thinking, I'm like, oh my God, I got two, two songs on, on the album. Everyone at J Records loves me. I'm like, this is, this is it. This is, this is what's going to take me to that whole other level. And basically, um, the record tanks. Um, I'm like reevaluating my whole situation because I'm like, wow. So I don't own the masters because Jay owns the masters. The writing, whether it's good or not, who wants to cover an O-Town song? Nobody. So, you know, I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, the record business is is not it. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so frustrated. So around that time, I get a call from a guy named, you know, Tom Eaton. Tom Eaton at the time was living out in LA and he runs film and TV music for the publishing company that I was signed to. He calls me up and he's like, hey, this is Tom Eaton from the film and TV department. I'm like, hey, Tom Eaton, how you doing? I'm like, film and TV department? I didn't even know what the hell that meant. I'm like, you, 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 know, you know, this is 2001, 2002. I'm like, Film and TV department? What the hell is a film and TV department? I don't even know what that is. So I was kind of probably a dick to him on the phone because I was just like, done. You know, he's like, right. I think your stuff is great. I'm like, great. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know, go big fella. You know, like, <laughs> uh, you know, and he's literally like, yo, I've been listening to your catalog and the stuff that hasn't come out. And I think that it's great for film and TV. And I'm like, I don't even know what that means. So I'm like, go for it. I hang up the phone. He calls me three weeks later and he's like, Hey, we got a placement. And, and he's like, and he's, you know, it's 18,000 and you know, you're on So nine of it's going to us and you own the master. So nine of it's going to you. And I'm like, Oh, cool. I'm like, who am I recording on it? Who's tracking it? Where do, what studio am I at? He's like, you're not in any studio. You're not in it. Nobody's recording it. I was like, oh, okay, do you need the Pro Tools session? You know, uh, do, you know, do I need to tell my lawyer for the production deal? He's like, no, 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 you, you don't understand. You don't have to do anything. And I was like, Tom, it's a demo and it's my vocal on it. He's like, it's already in the movie. And I'm like, wait, I don't understand. You, you're going to give me $9,000 on a song that I did two years ago that's like a demo that's got me on it? He's like, yeah, it was for American Pie 2, a light bulb literally raises out of my brain and I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. You know, I, like I can rent music and, and keep ownership and you know, it really, it started again, fundamentally based in hip hop. I became the hip hop guy in Hollywood. You know, um, anything that, anything that required hip hop in Hollywood, 
I was the guy that they call because a, I had all the rappers. I didn't sample anything and I knew how to get it done from A to Z. You know, is Wi-Fi getting crazy? Yeah. Hold on. Let me go in. 